G'day Gronk here, who am I speaking to? Yeah, g'day mate, it's Nat here. With the long hair? Yeah. Tie your hair up, it's mad annoying, eh? Yeah, I've heard that one. Why should kids you look like a freaking dungeon? Why don't you go put some more milk in your bolognese? Nerd! 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 What's going on, champion? Wood, thanks. <laughs> so it's starting to get a bit bloody cold over here in Australia. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to just move into a log cabin? Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> <laughs> Looks what you did there. Now there's a few ways to make gnocchi. One of them includes potatoes. So I'll save you the fucking time explaining the other ones and let's just make that one. So why not come on down uh, digestion lane and make some... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whatever. Let's make some gnocchi together and we're going to make it out of stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm getting another call. Hello. Hey bro, it's me again. What even goes in gnocchi? Oh, why this stuff? Yeah, cheers bro. <laughs> Beauty. Not fucking hard, champions. I like to use these potatoes because they're covered in shit. Wash the fucking things, put them in a pan, turn the fucking oven to 200 degrees, open the fucking door, throw the shit in, close the fucking door, and wait an hour and a half until they're fucking cooked. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Time is a bit fucked. Out we come, champions. Ooh, would you look at that? There's suddenly fucking three of them for some reason. Big bowl. Big knock. Of course, you can boil the potatoes if you like, but it makes them a bit more wet, and we don't want a heaps wet dough, because it's fucking annoying. Just cut the fucking potatoes in half, scoop all the good shit into the bowl. A bit easier to get the potato out while they're warm, but uh, not hot. You don't want to fucking burn yourself, otherwise you'll burn down your lovely wood cabin and everyone will be fucking upset and you'll cry. And then you'll have to bloody call the comment section and have a fucking sad with them. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the comment section. I've got ourselves some flour, just good old plain flour and an egg. We want to get the potato, get all of the lumps out of this shit. Usually I'd use a thing called a potato ricer, but because I was fucking around chopping wood down and building a cabin, I seem to have lost it. But that's all right. We work with what we've got, champions, and what we've got is mental health problems. Uh, sorry, what we've got is a whisk. You can just use a whisk. You can go really fucking hard and squeeze the potato through this and it will be very lump free, but I can't be fucked doing that. Just get all the fucking lumps out of it, would ya? Fucking no, fucking no, fucking no. Don't fret if it's not perfect, you'll be right. Sift the fucking flour into it, you bloody dickhead. <laughs> Crack an egg into it, and you go, champion. Salt, anyone? Now, fucking combine the shit together. Start with a spatula if you want, or just fucking get in there with your hands, champion. Let me know in the comments section what you think about the length of my hair and whether it's gonna get in the food or not. And I'll let you know whether I give a fuck. Nah. <laughs> get yourself a couple of trays, fucking baking paper on them. On the bench, hit it with a little bit more flour so that the shit doesn't stick to the... You get it. Here is our little potato ball. There's a little bit more flour on it there. And what we want to do is knead it and keep doing that. It is quite wet, this dough, so you feel free to add a little bit more flour if it's feeling a little bit too wet. Five minutes of this shit. Don't stop. What's pretty fucking good, champions. Where do we have it? Look at that shit. Cut this into four bits. Now you want to flour your knife, and the reason for that is the same reason you put flour on the bench because it will stick like fucking shit to a blanket. Cut it. I find some of this cooking shit intimidating at times, even though I'm the one apparently telling you how to do it. So if you feel like shit's going on the piss a little bit, don't feel bad. Shit doesn't look like a perfect little doughy fuckwit, that's fine. The ingredients are in there, they'll get cooked. Don't fucking worry about it, you got it. Making sure that you get plenty of flour on the bench still. I'm gonna roll them out from the center outwards into a sausage. Again, if it's not like a perfect sausage, it's not a fucking sausage sizzle, don't worry about it. Reflower your knife. Now we wanna cut them into little gnocchis. 
The shape is up to you. It doesn't really matter what shape you make it. You can just fucking leave them like that if you want. Little fucking pillows get you out of trouble. Feel free to use the fork thing and put fork dings in it. You're not here like people. All of them are different. Some of them need a little bit more care. Some of them need a bit more time. Well, they might not be the most perfect looking gnocchis, but fucking Nick is a shit. You made them. That's what matters. These cook pretty fucking quick. So what we'll do is we'll turn the bloody big winger on with a bit of water in there. Bang a bit of salt in. <laughs> okay, stove's number two. Here it is, don't look at the brand because they're not paying me. All fucking right. <laughs> Get ourselves a pan. Now you can make any fucking sauce you like for this shit. As long as it's not fucking jar sauce. Don't eat that shit. It's chat. I'm gonna make a bit of a classic. I didn't come up with sage and butter myself. People have made it in the past, but this is how I make it. I have no idea how to fucking use these things to be honest. So we're just gonna hope for the best. Fry, turning down. Fuck me. Into this pan, we're going to put Fucking nice butter. Very nice. Now we're gonna throw in some sage leaves, a handful of these. I'm gonna make enough for, I don't know, two people at a time. I'm gonna fry off the sage leaves in the butter because it's what happens. Doesn't matter too much if it burns a little bit. You don't wanna burn the fucking buck out of it. Ooh. If you're using one of these punishing induction stoves, make sure you keep an eye on it because the things fucking burn stuff. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck this thing. <laughs> it's such a fucking pain in the ass. If you like a bit of chili like I do, you can put a little bit of fucking chili in there. Righto, let's cook the gnocchi. Behave yourself. All you gotta do is tip these in and as soon as they float, they're good to go. Here we go, champions. Lovely. The big winch is a bit of an angry boiler. Steaming my hair up a bit too. And you don't want to crowd the pan. Because if you crowd the pan, it's shit. That's why I'm not doing all of them at once. Just fucking half of them at a time in a pot that big. See, now they're starting to hang out at the top. Now they're floating. We're good to uh, goatin'. What? Straight out of here. All right, now I'm gonna zest in the one lemon. Oi, oi. Crack of salt, nudge of pepper. Bang them on a fucking plate. That looks all right, eh? Look at that shit. And cause fucking, come on. A bit more cheese. And just finish it off with a bit of lemon zest, just a little bit. Fuck, better not taste like shit, eh? All right, well we better fucking eat it. That's fucking great. I can't help you if you don't look like that. Dead set. Doesn't matter if you burn the butter a little bit. No one gives a shit. In fact, some people even call it burnt butter and sage. How do you like that? What a wild world we live in. Why would you go out to a restaurant where night after night you could be at home making yourself that? Looks like everybody's kicked a goal. <laughs> look, you're a fucking legend. This fucking rules. Knock yourself out. I'm not gonna fucking go at this. That is ridiculous. All bets are off. Yeah, I'll use it.